call. Calling CQ, hello CQ. CQ calling CQ, hello CQ. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. Whiskey 6 Lima Golf. So here's what happened last week. And um, it's a once in a lifetime thing. W9BR called me and he actually called me a couple of times and uh, he wasn't real strong, but I heard him. And at first I thought it was my neighbor, W9GR, Dave Hirschberger. It turned out it was Harry, W9BR. And Harry asked me if I could um, help um, fulfill a die man's last wish. And that was to get on HF and to make some contacts. So, of course, I said, yeah. And when and where do you want me? He said, right now. And let's go to 14235. Uh, that's on 20 meters. So we met there. Uh, the most amazing group of hams that I have come across ever uh, were there at a VA facility in Chicago, Illinois. To help out, um, I have to look, a uh, gentleman whose name, was, whose name is John, and uh, John Nugent, WA2EQJ. John's in the... Um, uh, a facility in in Chicago and um, they set up uh, a portable transceiver like an ICOM 706 or ICOM 7000 an antenna outside microphones power supplies tables chairs had a big crowd and got John on the air and I was his first contact and um, we talked for several minutes and I got uh, other guys that could hear him to say hello the hams in um, Chicago that did this is the, um, let's see if I get this right here. Uh, let me look on this side. The Lake County Racy's Aries group in Libertyville, Illinois. And they are so good at what they did. Uh, it, it's truly amazing. Um, for example, I got this in the mail um, yesterday and it's going to go on my wall. It's a uh, certificate of appreciation for meeting John on the air. And uh, um, it certainly wasn't necessary. I was more than happy to do it. Um, John did pretty good. Uh, he's on oxygen and um, needed some help, but his uh, family was there to help him. And um, we had, I think, about 10 contacts um, come through and, and say hello. So uh, these guys fulfilled a dying man's wish, got him on HF. And again, his name is, uh, the guy, the gentleman's name is uh, John Nugent, N-U-G-E-N-T, W-A-2-E-Q-J. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it was a pleasure to be a, a part of it. And uh, hopefully, uh, he, uh, he got some pleasure out of it. Anyway, um, day started off with, uh, by accident, meeting uh, Tim Duffy, which was a real pleasure, nice guy, and um, then finished with uh, this uh, from the uh, Lake County Aries Race, uh, Races Aries Group, setting up uh, a station for John Nugent. In in doing that, it um, was not only to help out John Nugent, but it generated a lot of publicity, um, which was which is good for amateur radio. Uh, it was carried in a lot of newspapers. Um, my name appears in those articles as Jim in Grass Valley. And uh, since I knew I was playing to an audience, I did my best to explain ham radio to those that were listening. And for example, I discussed... Uh, 73 and where it came from and, and what it meant because I knew at the end I'd be saying 73 to John anyway um, won't forget it great group of guys I what I'll try to do at the end of this video is post uh, a list as best I can I'll add to that because it was a big group of guys um, and uh, I think one or two uh, 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 ladies also helped out Maybe a daughter or a granddaughter were, were part of it. 
Anyway, if you ever have the opportunity to help someone out like this, I encourage you to do it. it um, it's an amazing experience. Anyway, what a day. December the 5th, 2017 starts off with kind of a neat thing. We're checking out a new ICOM 7610 with uh, DX Engineering. And during that, or at the end of that, uh, I get involved in a guy's last wish. So um, that's, <laughs> that's the, uh, the story that goes with uh, what happened uh, on December the 5th. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe. If you are aware of this or have something to contribute to it, or if you know these guys, uh, please thank them for what they did. What can't, can't even describe uh, how impressed I am with, uh, with Lake County. Anyway, for now, 73.